the shade as much as possible. Back to third. Said, I've always wanted to cycle all the way around the Peloponnese. And he said, I've always wanted to sail all around the Peloponnese. And we, same moment, I'll race you. Oh, he said he wanted to go around the whole Peloponnese. Which is crazy, man. It's an actually I said, yeah, I mean. That's all I'm going to do, I'm going to do. Ακολουθούμε την ακτογραμμή και δεν ταξιδεύουμε τη νύχτα. And then I had this going down there. Okay, yeah. We're not the fastest cyclists in the world, you know? We'll be a team and super determined. Christos had to drive up a few hundred kilometers north of Athens to pick up the boat. He arrives, I think, six or seven o'clock in the morning and saying, yeah, <laughs> we have our boat. Σκάφος αυτό είναι ένα καινούργιο σκάφος για μας, δεν έχουμε ιδέα για τα συστήματά του. Και επίσης δεν έχουμε σιγουρευτεί ακόμα αν αυτό το πράγμα επιπλέει. He's a bit more of a, a manly job. He's got a job to do 100 miles. Because we've just got this new boat, we just set it up, we should maybe do a test run. Just think about it and go, no, no test runs, no. So we were off like a rocket off the beach. really really well and uh, as it turns out too well because uh, we had put a lot of pressure on the rudder the, the rudder the mechanism holding the rudder snapped just broke It was very good though. We really enjoyed ourselves. We also heard that the guys on the boat have had a problem. So the boat stuck in the beach. I think they're trying to fix it. I'm not sure what's going to happen. It's a Saturday night in Greece. Τα 
Ah, oh, shit. Eso acá la costa. Oh. Eso acá la. Segura. Posible yeah. me no, sube. Okay. La tofu. over Christos apparently apparently he hasn't made it here obviously we're, we're winning the competition but what a view eh check it out I tell you what I do like what's that I can't see any camera around how do I feel it's a mix as always these things um a mixture of uh, elation I've got here, I've finished a mixture of total exhaustion. My legs probably don't work very well at all anymore. So that's where we're going straight away. The guy who made it looks like he did a really super job. Around every corner, it changes and gets more beautiful. And... That was the first time I actually went through the canal um, on water, and it's completely different. I mean, it's, you don't really appreciate what uh, you know an engineering feat it was to, to dig this thing. I mean, it's just huge. You don't get a sense for how big it is until you're actually down um, in the water there looking up. It came out of corn, a very little wind. Going double our previous speed with that paddle. There's nothing you can do, basically, if, you, if there's no wind. Which is about half an hour. And we thought we were just going to cycle down to Monte Vassier, and then we saw a sign saying 50 kilometers, and it was getting dark. It was like being completely blind. It hit the side of the curve where it just curved down to the gravel, and... By then we were so mentally drained. We were fighting things in our in, in our minds and now we were fighting things in our bodies. We have finally got something. <laughs> a fabulous sail. All down the wind with spinnaker. So we made up a lot of this that day. Do you know where the camera is or where's Christos? We're now 4,000 miles ahead.
Cabo Manes is at the very tip of the first finger of the Peloponnese. It's a big cape, very uh, notorious. It's got a, a notorious reputation. Fishermen in the area, they were all saying, you know, you guys don't want to be that small. They're going really strongly in the catamaran and the race is definitely on. I think we have some of our fastest runs I'm sailing um, the We are a team, all seven of us are a team, proper team, working together and for each other. At the ninth day, we finally got out to the sands. And we actually did it. We sailed into Coroni. I don't think they believed themselves that we actually <laughs> sailed in there. If anybody leaves early, they're disqualified. Okay. Okay. So they've all gone. Cats are away. Tigers are away. There's storm clouds ahead. <laughs> That's going to be a really interesting day. just looking in the distance and there was a little boat, a little boat like that. And I look back over that's my inside this day and they, they, then you start realizing they are flying. Supreme, that's a proper train. And the catamaran's not actually here yet. Should have been here an hour ago. You're waiting four or five hours and you're just like, where are they? And they're not answering the phone, you're getting genuinely worried. Just like I thought that I personally couldn't do it, Ali would have done it if it wasn't for this. We all could have and have done, we've beaten things, so well done, man. I always thought there was nowhere more beautiful than my na native Northumberland. And having been this far, got two thirds of the way around the Peloponnese, this is just the most beautiful place in the world. This is just, it's jaw dropping. Every time you turn a corner, there's a different view mountains and sea and lemon groves and olive groves and orchards and churches and ancient ruins it's just the most amazing place if as we came into Githio last night there's a wrecked ship that we can see down there from here uh, that must have been there 50 or 60 years absolutely covered in rust and there's just a surprise and something fantastic around each corner